You need a house, but you're on a budget. Check out these starter homes for you. Hello, Joy Simmer here, and we're going to do another starter home. We're starting with our usual budget of $20,000, and we're buying this uh, $1,500. Um, dollar lot which should give us um, 18,500 for our um, for our budget here we're going to um, I was going to try to build a two-story house and not not build a, uh, a basement this time and I think that we're going to go ahead and start um, start this. I, uh, I was kind of messing around with this and I, I built it. I built something and then I um, the footage, my video got messed up and I lost it. So we're going to, so I kind of know what I'm doing, but I never fully know what I'm doing, <laughs> but anyway, we're going to, we kind of, I kind of have an idea and we're going to try to build something here. All right. Um, because we only have a starting budget of, um, of, of 18.5 we don't have a lot of money for like um for like furnish furnishing and stuff so we want to try to not spend too much of our money on building the house but of course we want it to look nice I'm using this pretty small lot so we won't have a much of a yard but um that's okay um, we're gonna go ahead and put a foundation in here but just a real little one just a one step up um, then I think that's what we're going to do. That's what we'll start with anyway. That way we don't have to have stairs and that'll save us a little bit of money, but we still get the look of having a foundation. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and have like the upstairs be more like a loft type of room. And we're going to go ahead and have, we'll keep our, 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 uh, our walls, um, the standard height, not make them any taller than that. I'm just trying to think of how I want to do this. Um, I was kind of thinking that we would have a dormer on this upper upper room so that gives us a little bit more interest on the front of our house so it's not so boring and maybe a dormer in the back to like accommodate the stair the staircase I think that's what we're gonna go ahead and do I'm going to uh, delete the ceiling because uh, in the way the game is set up is that you end up with this uh, notch like this in the stairs. And I want to be able to control my floor and not have that notch. So we're going to go ahead and delete that and place our own, our own floor here. That uh, sometimes will um, make the make the roof act a little bit weird because then it's confused about where what what's a room and what's not a room. I, I guess I accidentally got rid of my... Hold on a second, I messed, messed this up yet. We want to make sure that we're not getting rid of our our walls though. Let's see. Yeah, sometimes that'll mess up the roof and make it be confused about what's a floor and what's not a floor. So, I've done this before. I don't I don't know offhand why this is doing this. I can't think of the reason, but um, that's okay. We'll just 
work with with it right now and um yeah for some reason it's deleting our walls we'll, we'll just put them back hopefully that's not really affecting our money too much i don't wasn't really paying paying attention to that but um yeah we're gonna leave this open to the bottom and i do want to have uh I do want to cover up, you know, wait what I'm doing. I want to put a floor on this part, but leave this part open. So I need to make a two by two piece of flooring. So we're going to do that down here on the, on the ground. Um, sometimes I do that and then I bring it back up. If I have a, I guess my, my lot is so little, I have no, nowhere to set it. We'll just pull that in. Yeah. You can't go outside of the bounds, and I have nowhere to set this down to do this, but here we go. Yeah, sometimes you have to fiddle with it to try to outsmart the, I guess, the matrix of the game to make it do what, what you want it, want it to do. Um, maybe there's an easier way to do it that I don't know about. Um, if so, you could comment and tell me. <laughs> In, in the comments below, but that's why that's why I do it. Now, um, I know that's kind of weird to have that, but I didn't want this uh, dormer to be off center, so we're gonna go ahead and leave that little space. I'm not sure what I'll do with it yet, though. Maybe we'll just put something there as decoration or something. We we could even put a small a small wall there like that and then uh, put something up there I'm, I'm not sure I'm not sure what we'll do with it we'll just we'll leave it maybe I'll get rid of it later I think we'll even go ahead and leave I think we'll leave that open like that we'll put a a half wall so you could look down in and in, into there all right, let's build our roof now. I was gonna cover the porch. Um, that was what I was originally thinking. Now what I was saying, if you the, see how the, this uh, roof is showing on the inside of the room? Sometimes if you do what I did and you make your own floor, it confuses the game about what's what's a room and what's not a room. But you can fix that by dragging this in and making your roof in, in pieces and that'll fix that problem. And I could adjust this um, this if you if you hold on to um, shift you could adjust one side and if you don't hold on to shift it adjusts both sides so that's what I was doing there and um, now we want to adjust this um, roof so that it fits in this area oops and I want to bring it up so it's the same height as my wall. So you want to bring it up so that this piece here, I think I have to bring this in first. Yeah. Then you want to adjust it so that this, um, this little thing, this little piece here is the same height as this wall like that yeah do the same thing over here so we're gonna bring this lip back and adjust this so it's the same height and we could do that same thing to the back here and you could even just uh, copy this piece and put it back here there we go We're going to um, put another half gable on this part of the roof 
I was thinking about making this piece, um, this piece that's sticking out here on the main floor to be the kitchen. Again, we want to bring that piece in um, so it doesn't stick into the room. But this time, instead of making it be the same height, we're going to make it be smaller, like lower like that. Um, up here, we're going to go ahead and cover this up. You don't really, you don't really have to because your roof will cover it. But um, I like to have it on there. Uh, there we go. Hopefully, we can get this built and still have money to decorate it. We will um, probably use the debug for some landscaping. To give us enough money to have uh, to give us landscaping without spending money from our budget. Okay, there we go. And then you'll notice that the um, pitch of this top piece is not the same as this. So now we want to fix that by dragging that up. And when we get it the same, you, this line will disappear. You won't get that anymore. See how it, it, it's gone now, and now it um, blends in. Alrighty. And then we could go ahead and cover our porch as well. First, we need to. Um, Put something here. We'll do that same thing on the back. With these found uh, with these flooring pieces. There we go. And then we're gonna do um, again the half gable roof and bring it down and again you want to make sure it's not going in that room so you want to grab a hold of these little arrows not the big one the littler one and hold the shift button so you can bring it back like that Now, I might change this because see how this is not lending very well, but I can't I can't bring this back anymore because um so I think what we the way to fix that is to bring this in like that and copy this piece and put it here. And then now we, we, we could bring back just, just this piece. And um, trying to see if that's, I, I don't like this, how this is doing this. So we're going to raise it up like that. Yeah, that see that's a more natural looking roof to me. So we'll go ahead and do that to here too. And then we could copy that piece again and put it over here. There we go. Okay. And then now we could copy those pieces. Oh see There we go. Now we can copy those pieces and put them back here, but you want to do opposite corners because we have the um, the side of the roof 
out and this side in so it doesn't go in the room. So that's why you have to do it opposite corners if you do it the way I did it. There we go. Okay, that looks good. And there we go. So now we have a cute little cute little frame of our house and now we gotta add doors and windows. We don't wanna spend too much money on this. Put that door there. Uh oh I didn't finish down here. Yeah. Alright. I um I was gonna make I was gonna make um this right here be like a second bedroom or an office. This is the bath. And then this right here is like uh, the hallway of that. And there we go. We need a front door, but which again, we don't want to spend too much money. What door? Let's do this one. There we go. Get us some windows. Trying to decide what to do. I want to have something cute without spending too much money. We could go ahead and do this, this one. If we do this, then, then we have these matching ones. That's cute. Alrighty. Yeah, let's do this. Seems like they're too tall. There, how's that? Okay. Alrighty. And then upstairs, we need a window. That's too tall for that. Alrighty. We don't wanna spend too much on this, but I think this will this will be okay. Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's give our let's get ourselves some uh some kind of siding or something on here. Maybe we'll go with brick. I haven't done a lot of brick houses lately. Well I did do that um that colonial, I guess that 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 was brick. But I often end up with siding. I was just trying to see if we could do something different. I think as far as price goes, they're pretty much comparable to each other. Let's go ahead and just let's go ahead and do this. I like this. I've I've never used this one before. It's cute. And we'll go ahead and keep the roof the gray. I think it looks nice with it. There we go. Now inside of here, I bet we colored some. Did we color some of those walls? Yeah. See, it sometimes when when you uh, look what it did. It covered up my floor here. There we go. Um, sometimes when you um, build your own room with the floor like I did, it confuses the wall and it doesn't know what's inside and what's outside. So we could fix that when we paint the inside. We'll start down here though. Let's go ahead and do the kitchen first. We'll go ahead and let's let's use these uh, used appliances. That'll save us a little bit of money and then you can always upgrade your appliances. Well, I don't know. That's ugly. Let's not. 
How, how much are we saving? Oh, we're saving. Well, we will. We'll go ahead and use these. We're going to use these even though they don't look the best. And you can always upgrade them later when your sim has more money. I've never really used these in game play. I wonder if they have any, um, if you have any penalties as far as them being a fire hazard more likely or not. Uh, if anybody has played with them and wants to let me know in the comments, you can. I've, I'm curious. They do have used countertops too, but I don't want to do... Well, we'll put these used ones for now, and if we feel like we have enough money, we can always come back and, and change them. Let's do that. Okay. We're going to go with these. Oh, I guess we have to turn this on. If you have the auto on, it'll automatically connect things together like this. If you don't, it won't. Give ourselves a sink. We need a, a window in our kitchen. I think that these are going to be too tall, but we could um, maybe reuse this one. What kind of matches? Well, what we already did. So we don't have too many different things happening at once. I don't like that though. I don't like that. Alright, let's get rid of that. Maybe let's change the ones up here to match this. Nope, those are too tall. Well, we're just going to keep it like that. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Now we need to do our bathroom. We need a door for our bathroom and a door for the bedrooms. This is a not expensive door. Let's use this. This little room right here, I was, uh, that's for laundry. Now we probably won't have money for the washer and dryer, but I like to build that room. All right, let's make sure we have, we do the bathroom. We're gonna get the shower. We could do just the bathtub to save ourselves money, but as I said in previous builds, that if, if, if I do that, then I feel like, um, that the take it, a sim taking a bath takes so much longer than a sim taking a shower that I don't really like to like to have just that. Okay, we got that. Now let's do our flooring and our wall colors here. Let's go ahead and um, tile the kitchen. Let's see, what haven't I used in a while? Let's try to do something different that I haven't used recently. I always end up using the same things over and over again. I don't know if I've ever used this one. Let's, let's use this. Um, let's go ahead and tile it like this. And then I'm going to angle this. I want to angle this piece here. And to do that, you hit the F button, or maybe it's Control F, I think, yeah. Control F will give you a triangle piece, and then we could go ahead and make that be angled. Let's even grab another cabinet here and put it there. There you go. Let's do that, and then, um, then let's do, let's use this tile also in the bathroom. We'll just go ahead and use the same tile. And we'll put it in the laundry room too. Let's just put wood flooring throughout the rest of the house. Let's use this darker wood flooring. Okay. And we can do that. That kind of mat that flooring matches the wood of the stairs. Okay. Let's see, um, we need, let's put a railing on the staircase. I want to use a railing that's uh, solid wood and not one that's like um, white and brown. 
that one works. Okay. Then we'll do wall color. Let's just do paint without trim because I think if you had a cheaper house like this and um, that you wouldn't have, you probably wouldn't, wouldn't have like molding, like crown molding and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and use these or the ones where like the baseboards are fine too, probably. Um, let's use these with the baseboards. Okay. Let's do, well, no, we're not, we're not going to, we're going to use these. Okay. Let's stick with these colors. Let's do, let's do like a, um, like this lighter green color here the main living now because I think if you painted this wall this co color it makes sense to me that you would carry that up to here and this one it be a separate color so we'll go ahead and make this part the same I think it would be fine though after that point to change the color so let's go ahead and make the rest of the room a different color so let's do this little bit darker one that way they kind of go together I see that I don't have a piece of my floor here There we go. All right. Um, so we could make this room be this color. All right, let's put a light up here. Let's do one overhead light and we're just going to do just a cheap overhead light like this I think is fine. Okay. I think that you would probably have an overhead light in this hall area. You would definitely have one in your kitchen. You would want one in your laundry room. Your bathroom would have one and of course there'd be one in here. I think that's all we're going to um, do. I think in this main part, we'll just do like a lamp and we're not even going to have an overhead light there. Alrighty, let's paint the other rooms now. Let's get, let's do a blue. This is like um, more blue than the green. See how it has a little bit more blue in it? We'll do that for this room. We'll, um, We'll go ahead and make our, we'll just make our laundry room just be like beige. Like, oh, I don't, sorry. Sorry for zooming in so quick. <laughs> All right, let's see. What should we do in here? Let's, let's do a, let's do a, let's do a gray. Let's do, do we want to do that? Let's, let's just do white. There we go. Let's change our, let's do, Let's do a green shower curtain. All right, there we go. All right now, how much money do we have to spend left? All right, we have 7,000. All right, so what do we need for sure? Well, for sure we need, we need a bed, so let's start with that. I'm really hoping that we have some enough money to like decorate it and not just put the basic furniture so we don't want to spend too much on on our pieces of furniture so i think we used this futon last time and even though i don't want to always use the same thing it's so much cheaper than these than this it's like over a hundred dollars cheaper and i think we're, we're just going to go ahead and use and use, use it again so um, we're going to go ahead and use this. Let's put it against this, this wall. Okay, we want at least one end table. Oh, I, I didn't put in my, my cheats. All right, we're going to put testing, testing true. Wait, is that what it is? No, it's testing I'm confusing myself. Testing cheats. Space true. 
and then we want to do the move objects sheet. So that's bb dot move objects job objects on, and we're going to go ahead and do bb dot ignore gameplay on locks entitlement entitlement and we're going to do bb dot show hidden objects and bb dot show live edit objects those are the ones that I always use okay we'll go ahead and put one at least one of these we could always come back and add, add a second one but let's have at least one end table and let's put a lamp on it Um, we used this one last time because it's $50, but again, if we always use the same ones, we're basically building the same house. Let's not do that. Let's go ahead and let's use this one. I know it's a hundred, but I think it's kind of cute. Is this too close to the wall color we already have? Hmm. Let's do this. Let's do that. And let's change the ta the color of this table. We'll change it to like this, so it kind of kind of matches the bed. All right, we need a dresser. Um, let's go ahead and use this one. This one's cute. Do we have anything that would kind of match? None of the woods kind of none none of the woods really match what we already have, but we'll do this one. Let's do this one instead. Is that where we want to put it? We'll put it over here, okay? And let's put another lamp on here. Let's get ourselves a rug. Let's see. If you take one of these smaller rugs, you could grow it bigger and that'll save you money. I really like this one in here with this wall. Let's see. Can I make this fit though? See, really, if we grow that, it's going to be too big for the room. It goes out of the... Let's see. That's not going to work. We could just make it be the size that it is, though. I kind of really like it with the walls. I'm trying to think. Where would you put it in here? Seems to me you'd want a rug by your bed so when you got out of bed your feet wouldn't be cold. That seems logical to me, but um, really you could put it anywhere. But Maybe like this. Let's see. If I grow this bigger. This is like an odd shape. When you grow things bigger, you have to grab it where it thinks it would be normally. That's why I was having so much trouble grabbing it. You can't grab it from like the edge. You have to grab it from like the middle. So. It's wasting too much time on the bug. What to you? This one's cute. Maybe we'll just do. Maybe we'll just do that. I like it's not really up here by that, but it's taking up too much room. Just 
just doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe what I should do is actually move the bed instead of instead of all this indecision. I could just move the bed. Maybe that's better. And then I could have it be like this. And then, and then the rug is by the bed and that makes more sense to me anyway. Let's do that. Okay. There we go. And then if you had more money, you could break this down and make this be separate rooms. But I think for what we have, we're going to make it be like this, like a loft. We might come up here and add some more furniture, like a chair or something. We'll see how much money we have. We'll go down here. And we need to have a table and chairs. I think if we go to debug, we should have um, more options as far as the table and chair goes. I don't think that we must have not done the debug right. Let's let's do this again. Let's do show bb dot show hidden. Uh, Show live edit objects. There we go. Okay, now we should have it all. All right, there. See, this is this is what I was trying to find. I was trying to find these because then we could use these. Aren't very much money. And then, and then we have a table and chairs. Okay, let's get a sofa. Let's get this rug. And get a sofa. change the color of this. Let's see. Let's do that. Okay. And then we want a place for our TV. And then another way to, um, to save money is you could take a smaller TV and make it be bigger. That saves you some money. Okay, let's get something to go here. Maybe a bookcase. Alrighty, let's see what kind of bookcase is not too expensive. This one is cute. Let's put, let's kind of taller than a wall. That's not going to work. This one. Let's do that one. Okay. There we go. We want something in here. Let's get a computer desk. Let's get ourselves a computer desk. And a chair. Alrighty, we get a little lamp. Sometimes, if you get one that's small enough, yeah, like that, you can put it up there. Okay, we could get um, a rug for in here. Let's 
That rug is kind of big for that room, but we're going to make it a little bit smaller. That works. Okay with it. Alrighty, what else do we need? We, I think we have the basics of the furniture we needed, and we still have $3,000 left, so we could make some things a little bit cuter. Let's, um, let's add something up here. This room needs some help. It doesn't look that cute. Let's see. Let's get ourselves something to go up here. We get like these chairs. And we could do we need something to go here. I think what would look cute there are some plants. Like a couple of these plants over here. I think that looks cute. I think this needs to be painted right there. What would also look cute here, I think, is if we had just um, a piece of trim right across there. Like that. We could change the color. All right, and then we could change the color of the top of this um, half wall here. There's this edging. We could change that. Um, maybe if we change it to white. This white wall? No, I think the wood is better. I think keep it the wood and then change change this to match. That like that. See this keeps changing color because it, now it thinks it's the outside because I put that wall there but we could just change it back there. Alrighty. Um, you know, I think if we put a divider, a divider here, which one of these is not, these are all pretty pricey. Let's see if you did that, then you could make this be like a separate area. And you could put a separate rug in here. Let's see. Still stay with the same color colors, like beigey color color of that, but maybe change it up some like this. Get a little accent end table here. I think okay, let's move this lamp to here instead of over there. Get a couple of these uh, plants over here in the corner. I love I love the plants. I, I, I use a lot of plants um, for accents in my builds. You'll see me put like a whole bunch in a corner or something. I just I just like it. Okay, like that. And then, then you have this little different separate space. And we could change the color of these if we want it. To where maybe white is good. Maybe the white's fine. Well, we'll, we'll keep them the white. 
alrighty. And I think we could even add some artwork up here. If there's anything. This is cute. Kind of matches the colors. What else do we have? We have this. We could use something like this, like above the bed. Maybe get a, a mirror for this uh, dresser. Like that. Change the color. There we go. Okay. Maybe uh, another one of these flowers in the in a different color for over here. Okay, and what do we have going on down here? We need to add something else down here. Let's see, can we again with the plants? I really like them. Maybe. Maybe put a couple of plants down here. If we go, if we don't want to spend too much on a plant though, and the cheaper, there we go. Maybe just one plant. Can we afford some curtains that might add a little bit of color here? Guess it's not going to add very much color if I use white, is it? <laughs> Let's see. I'm not really feeling any of these curtains, and the ones I like are probably going to cost too much. Okay, let's not do that. Let's see if we have any um, kind of artwork that we could put down here. not too expensive. Your artwork can get pretty pricey pretty quickly. So these are all a little bit cheaper. Maybe, maybe this blue one. Let's put that here. I just realized this isn't painted. We should paint this. Alrighty. Let's put some artwork in here. These, uh, let's do this. Let's make it be, and what we're going to do, we're going to change the color of this to match that one that's upstairs. I think, do we want to do that? No, let's keep it that, but let's change the color of this wall. That's what we're going to do. We're going to keep that, but change the wall color to the something that matches it a little bit more. I don't know. Nothing really matches any of this. Because it's there. We'll do that. Let's, let's do that. It's the one brighter room. But that makes it a big difference. Okay, now let's get... I didn't like the way that it was. Alright, I think I'm going to change the color of this too to be darker. There we go. Okay, I wonder what we could do is we could... Try, I'm trying to decide, do we spend the money for a computer or do we spend, the, spend it for our artwork? I think we're going to go with the artwork. Or instead of artwork, let's try a mirror. Maybe a mirror on the wall would be neat. Can't decide. No, let's go with artwork. Okay, let's try these um, these underwater prints. Let's try something like this, and you can make it bigger. And we can have another one over here and make it bigger.
Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we still have like six hundred dollars left, almost. Let's get. Let's hang these up in the bathroom. Maybe put a darker frame around them. We could put something like this. This in here. Uh, maybe I don't want to do that. Let's do this. Let's put these. Oh, I can only afford one of them. I was thinking I could afford two, but we'll do that. We'll hang that there and we'll put this over here. Which is not the one I like the best. Yeah, let's do that. And then, um, yep, I think we'll call that. We'll say that's done. And now we need to go outside and let's put a path, a walkway. A walkway to the front, to the sidewalk here. Move our mailbox over. And let's do a little bit of landscaping. Like I said, we're gonna do the we're gonna do the debug landscaping because we could do it for free. There's a free um, landscaping in here. So like there's trees and plants and things that are free. We even have like these hanging plants that we could put on the porch here. Let's do that. That'll give our porch. You want to raise them up so they're hanging. There we go. Let's do that. Let's put one of these on our porch. And get like a bush, some of these azaleas over here, and you can adjust the size with the um, with the bracket key. Um, when the free ones are bigger than the uh, than the ones you buy, they start out larger. Trying to see how do I want to do this. Let's do this. We can put these. Okay. And, oh, and you, you can't copy these, though, so you have to, you can't copy them, um, unless you use a mod, there's a, if you can, if you, um, there's a mod called Better Build Buy, um, I, I've tried that mod, um, it's okay, I, I didn't like it because, um, when, then I couldn't find, if I install it, I can't find some of the things I use a lot, like the fences, aren't in there as, as, as far as I could tell. I, I can never find them. So I tend to not use it, but you could use it. Um, and then, and then you can clone the, um, the, the debug and it makes finding some of the debug items easier. I left this hole here because there's a lavender that I want, but I'm going to have, I have to find, find it still. So I don't want to, um, Put it there until after I find it, um, because like I said, you can't clone it. Uh, we're just gonna use maybe these are too big to put in the front. Maybe 
wonder if there's if you want to like scroll away from where you are but you don't you don't want to like have to keep trying to find it um some sometimes i place a whole bunch of this of the same item down and then come back and move them around that just makes it a little bit easier see how um sometimes it wants to be on that foundation and it raises it up you want to make sure that you're not do accident accidentally doing that unless that's what you want it but Okay, let's try that. I thought that the azaleas were a little bit too big to be in front of the porch, but we could put them over here on the side. I really like to do things like use this type of um, thing at the bottom here. I think it looks nice to be underneath the um, the bushes and things. I just really like it, but you know, you can do it however, however, however you want, whatever you like. I think we're going to try to find that lavender in here. This is what this is what I want to see. Put that back here. There we go. Now let's do that and let's call it a day. So that's the house. I think it ended up being pretty cute. We have a, a loft bedroom that if you had more money you could divide it up and make it different rooms. We kind of divided it a little bit to have a seating area. You have an office, you have a bathroom, you have a kitchen. Uh, we did use the cheapest um, fridge and stove but like I said if you um, made more money you, you could update that. I guess I should put something here in this hole. Um, you have this, uh, you have a space for a space for laundry. You have a a big porch. We're gonna go ahead and grab this lavender and put it in this hole real quick. And um, yeah, I think it looks nice. And I think we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it a day. And uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.